Good morning. Oh, today we're working on my son's Trail Boss, Trail Blazer, Trail. This one is a Trail Boss. Um, I think the frames in 1998 and the bottom ends of 2001 and plastics in '94. Anyways, we uh, just kind of throw together the stuff that we had, but uh, we put a new top end on the engine because it uh, had 40 pounds of compression, but actually still ran um, when we got it. It was uh, pretty rugged. Um, Anyway, so we'd put a top end on it, and um, it wasn't long until the crank seals went out of it because it had been sitting for a long time before we put it back together. I uh, probably should have just put crank seals in to begin with. Um, anyway, so I was going to make this video here about how to put crank seals in. Um, you can do it with the engine in. It's not a big deal. And there's some videos out there. I, uh, I really was wanting to show you more of this little trick I found out for sanding down the crankshaft because whoever put this engine together last time, it has been a part before, was uh, real rugged on the crankshaft. I already have most of it cleaned up, um, so you probably can't tell, but you may be able to see some of the, the lines that are still left in there. I don't know if it was all dirty when he took the cases apart. But anyways, you just had all kinds of scratches going this way, and there was no way a seal was going to hold. But anyways, that other bottom end, uh, oh, like I said, the seals went out of it, and the bearings were starting to get bad in it. And I had this uh, 2001 bottom end. Um, somebody rebuilt it before and got like 20 hours on it and then shelled the top end of it and smeared the piston off onto the cylinder. Um, so anyways, then I acquired it and um, figured out, then put, did a leak test on it, and it didn't leak. Um, anyways, put the top end on there and couldn't really get it tuned out very well mid throttle. Um, so I did another leak down test on it um, and pulled the engine over at the same time. It only leaked when you were when the engine was turning. Um, anyways, essentially the guy had the uh, crank seals in um, crooked. Both of them were in crooked um, and uh, letting air air bypass them. Um, anyways, ruined the engine from running lean. Uh, anyways, the guy wasn't very meticulous because, like I said, everything has been kind of scratched up and tore up. I mean, I wish you could see some of these scratches on here because they're still pretty bad, but the camera's just not really showing it for me very well. Uh, anyways, um, so what you do when you pull these seals out, and there's, there's videos on here, and a lot of you guys probably know this, but anyways, when the seal's in there like that, you just take your, I take a little self-tapping screw, and I just drill it in there, like so, and then take your little nail puller or whatever and put on your screw and you know, it just pulls the seal right out um sometimes you put two screws on there and pull them with vice grips i did the mag side yesterday i didn't even think about making a video of it because like i said there's plenty of them out there and i didn't make a video i didn't uh, really think about making a video until i was trying to get this crankshaft cleaned up and i was like man i gotta do a, i gotta figure out a better way because you can't really get a dremel in there you don't and you won't leave it smooth you know you can't get it uneven I had this old plastic shop vac tube. I don't know, I might pull out of the garbage can. I don't know. Anyways, um, so I come up with this, and I took it and I slid it over the crankshaft. This was yesterday on the mag side. Slid it over the crankshaft, and man, it just like barely, I mean, you know, it leaves a little room, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or something, maybe a little more. Anyhow, so I took me some emery cloth and wad your emery, just wind your emery cloth up in there like so. And uh, if I can get in there, it's always fun trying to hold the camera and do stuff. That's why I'm not a professional. Anyway, put your sandpaper on there, your emery, emery cloth right there in the end of your tube. And then you just put that right there on your crankshaft. And you can get you a nice, even sand job on that. And really, this was ru really rugged when I started. And um, like I said, I've only been at it a couple minutes. And it's starting to get it tuned out to where I think it'll uh, hold a seal without putting the seal out. There was a little bit of a seal groove in there. It's almost gone now. And like I said, there's quite a few other marks, but it's starting to feel pretty smooth. I'll get a pick and put it in there and make sure I can't feel any ridges or what have you. But anyways, if you're going to uh, put the crank seals in, I guess really any for really, this one happens to be a Polaris 252 stroke. Um, I need some uh, cylinder that's just uh, a little bit bigger than the crankshaft. Put some memory cloth inside of it. Give the old twist. Um, it's working out well for me, anyhow. And then um, when you put your seals back in, you know, the guy wants to find oh, a socket or something that's, you know, the same size as your seal. You know, and then you just drive it on there 
like so. I'm gonna make sure you drive them in there even because if you don't get them even, then they will leak and um, make the engine run lean and then ruin the engine. Like I said, this engine or the bottom end had like 20 hours on it and it shelled the top end. Um, anyways, like I said, the bearings weren't in there. And these do not drive to, uh, they don't, um, you don't go to rejection because the crank, crank bearings right in there, you don't want to drive it all the way into there, you just go flush with the case. Um, one thing that is kind of nice, if you do have uh, a spot in your crank where the seals wore down a groove, um, that's the reason it's leaking, um, and it will if you put a new seal in there and there's a groove. You can actually set it one way or another just a little bit to get out of that groove. Um, say, don't drive it quite flush, or maybe just drive it just a little bit past flush um, to get you out of that seal groove and uh it'll uh, seal up for you anyways there's a couple tips well, i gotta clean the end of this thing up too this guy would just rug it on it you know look at that stuff anyways um have a good day